Hello people! Now I know you guys are mad that I haven't been making videos for an entire month or something like that. Well, wait a second. Yeah. Ever since Hytale got delayed, I have made just one video paying tribute. And I'm sure you guys missed me a lot and I don't doubt that. You must have a thousand questions. Where's Ray? But I'm here to tell you guys how Hytale's delay changed me. And how will I adapt to this new condition now that my dream games community is starting to fall apart while some of us desperately stand our ground in search of hope? Now, I've loved Hytale since the beginning. I've never said this, but I really wanted Hytale to be the game that defined me. Ever since I saw the trailer on a YouTube ad, I fell in love. I loved the visuals, the gameplay, and everything, everything about the game overall. What I felt when I played Minecraft for the first time years ago, it's that same feeling. The feeling of, hey, this might actually be the perfect game. And I didn't mean it because of how perfect it looked, or or if my favorite YouTuber was going to play it, or, or, or I was going to play it with my friends. No, I meant it because the game spoke to me. It felt like a cosmic connection when I saw the trailer. But I never watched Hytale YouTube content unless I had some serious question that I ha had to be answered about Hytale. The moment I heard the game was going to come out in 2021, I thought, meh, I'm just, I'm just going to wait it out. So I eventually forgot about the game while waiting. But my story continues around December last year. I was suddenly struck by the thought of that one game I was so fond of, and I really wanted to know what was up. And what do you know? I was fascinated by what was revealed about Hytale. After searching Hytale on YouTube, I discovered tons and tons of things that drove me to make my first ever Hytale video. I was absolutely thrilled meeting so many content creators and growing on YouTube at a rate I never believed I could. I felt committed that whatever adventures inside or outside of Hytale, it's only a matter of time until we finally get the game as Hytale's expected release date was closing in. Then came the content drought. That was an age when all we got were screenshots from Hytale Twitter. No monthly blog posts or any other huge announcement. Nope, just some screenshots. A lot of people took this negatively, but I thought, hey, maybe Hypixel Studios is staying silent because they're finishing Hytale and getting ready for release. They just don't want to spoil anything else, so of course not. So we all patiently waited for the biggest announcement ever in the history of the Hytale community. And Hytale got delayed. When I saw the release date 2023, I was like, But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed? It was devastating news for the Hytale community, and I thought, maybe I should make a fan trailer in case everyone lost hope. And then I completely refrained from making YouTube videos for a month. But I've learned a lot about YouTube during my leave, so I'm finally back. <laughs> and the future is yet a mysterious page waiting to be uncovered. As for my future, I considered making Minecraft videos, but slowly and gradually drifting to Hytale content as the release date draws closer. But I want you to know that I will never abandon Hytale. Not now. Not ever. I've also considered joining this SMP made by my old comrade Exodus Ablaze. I've seen a decline in subscribers in the past few days, and that's totally understandable. I I totally kind of I kind of deserve it. But just know that I have a dream that I will not refrain from: a dream of being a creator, a high tail creator, a Minecraft creator, and a and a vlogger. But but but. Right now, Hytale is on the horizon as we speak. And as always, I'll see you later. And also, I'll try to make videos a bit more frequently, so please forgive